Now we'll add PF status, custom PF status in our program. So what is PF status? So whenever we execute a report, so here you can see like toolbar option, different buttons are there. Okay, we also have back button, exit button. We also have this menu bar, list, edit, go to. Okay, so currently by default, all these appear as a standard functionality of LV report. But sometimes based on our requirement, we want to implement, we want to add custom PF status. So now we we'll learn how to create that. So what we'll do? For that we require the program name and transition code is SE41. That is called as a menu pointer. Here enter the program name and what we want to do? We want to create a PF status, right? So I will give the ID here PF1 and click on create. Okay, let's say PF status for demo. I want normal screen, press enter. And here you can see there is a menu option, the details which you want to add into menu. It is application toolbar and the function keys. Okay, so what I will do, let me enable save button, back, exit and cancel. Okay, those four button I want on the screen, remaining will be disabled. And in the application toolbar, for example, I just want one button. So what I will do, I'll just add display. Okay, the static text and like icon name, which icon you want to display here, we can add some icon also here. You can search for the required icon, search name, based on our requirement, we can select different icon from here in the list, display data, like display, and function key, on which function key it should get triggered. Okay, let's just write display data. So I will also add some menu bar here. Let's say go to. Okay, and here I just want to add like ME23N PO display. So here I add one value into menu bar in application toolbar also I have a different button and in function keys we have save back exit and cancel now I will save this and activate okay so we have activated created custom PF status at PF1 now go back to our program and here uncomment this I underscore callback underscore PF underscore status set here we'll give some value, example like pf underscore status. Okay, and use the same concept of user command. We have to create a form, a form routine for this. Form pf underscore status using rt underscore ex type type Slice underscore t underscore ex tab. Okay, and here like end form, and in between we have to set the pf status. So pf how to set pf status? Like set pf status and give our value which we have created in se forty one. Now save, check, activate. Okay. Now in the in the user command, I already written value for back button. So whenever I press back button in the PF status, this will get trigger. Okay, let me set breakpoint here. See if I execute this.
See, now we are not able to see the other buttons, filter, like some, all this we are not able to see. Okay, so here only display is present. Okay, so if I click on display data, so our breakpoint will get triggered. And here we can check the ARCOM value. Now it is display, but I have not written any logic. Okay, here. That's why it will come out as it is. Okay, so logic we have written for like I see one double click and back button. So if I click back button, set is screen zero because I have written code here as if user click on back button, set is screen as zero. Okay, so this is the way how to create a custom PFA status and like activate that in our report. You can also see the menu bar here, PO display, but I have not written any code here. Right. So in this way, we can add a custom PF status. But now the challenge here is like most of the time, what we require here, we cannot see any standard functionality like sort, filter, download to Excel, send. Okay. So as a developer, most of the time our requirement is we want all the standard features we require all the standard PF status feature of ALP report. But along with that, we want to add some more details like own button and all. Okay, so for that, there's a different concept. Like we have to copy a standard PF status. Okay, so that we'll learn next how to copy a standard PF status into our custom report to meet all the existing functionality with some additional buttons and all that we'll see in the next session.